So Landmark Earth Appliance gives you the converge infrastructure and on top of that, it gives you the ENP blueprint. Okay, So the ENP blueprint includes the, uh, the, the design, the engineering for how the petrotechnical application can be optimized to derive the most out of the converged infrastructure. So it's the it's, it's it performance, tolerance, and all of those things have been designed to basically run. It includes the uh, the operating systems, the industry reference operating systems for backend and for the 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 front end. For example, all of the backend servers could be Linux servers for you, where you are getting your uh, databases, you're storing your data, and so on and so forth. Your middle tier for integration and so on and so forth could be Linux based, right? But then on the front end of it, where you're running your application, they could be all Windows based. So the idea of the blueprint is to basically find the best operating system, the best uh, uh, components and sizes of those operating system that runs the ENP software the best. And then the second piece of the blueprint is, is even more intriguing, which is because we're talking end-to-end -end software for decision space, it comes with pre-configured uh, uh, ways for you to take your virtual machines for those different components from landmark software or non-landmark software and drop it into those blueprints and work out of the box. What it means are IP configurations and sizes and all those things are pre-configured. So as a user, the blueprint provides you the cap capability to download these virtual machines from the landmark software uh, website, download these virtual machines and start running your workflows, in this case, the end-to-end -end integrated workflows. The EMP blueprint uh, includes uh, Landmark's decision space applications, but it also includes a lot of the physical infrastructure and third-party dependencies that customers are required to deploy on their own in a conventional deployment methodology with a client-server setup. So that can include the operating systems, the databases, the configuration of all of those components, and then across not just single solutions, but across the whole of the EMP lifecycle. So we support the full stack of decisions-based technology from our databases through to our exploration and production software, drilling and economics.